This exercise is to stabilize a fracture of the lateral portion of the humeral condyle with a lag screw and an anti-rotation pin. The instruments and implants to be used are the large pointed reduction forceps, the brown 2.5 millimeter and the 3.5 millimeter drill bits, the 3.5 2.5 double drill sleeve, the brown 3.5 millimeter tap with T-handle. The countersink. The depth gauge. The screwdriver with holding sleeve. A Kirchner wire. And the bending iron for Kirchner wires. This is a view of the humerus with a fracture through the lateral portion of the humeral condyle. The lateral portion of the humeral condyle has been placed in the vise, and a 3.5 millimeter glide hole is drilled from the outside in, starting at a point distal and cranial to the epicondyle. The drill should be oriented so that it will exit in the center of the condyle. An alternative method is to drill this hole from the inside out. When this is done, the glide hole is drilled from the center of the condyle, exiting the bone just distal and cranial to the lateral epicondyle. The fracture is reduced and held in place with the large pointed reduction forceps. The 2.5 millimeter end of the double drill sleeve is inserted in the glide hole, and the thread hole is drilled with the 2.5 millimeter drill bit. In hard bone, the countersink is used. The correct screw length is determined with the depth gauge. The 3.5 millimeter tap through the double drill sleeve is used to cut the thread in the thread hole. The appropriate 3.5 millimeter cortex screw is inserted, achieving compression along the fracture line. To provide additional stability to the fracture, a Kirchner wire is inserted as an anti-rotation pin, starting at a point just distal and caudal to the epicondyle. The pin should be driven from the lateral fragment through the medial cortex. The wire is bent with the bending iron and cut off. When the bone is soft, as it might be in a young animal, the countersink is not used. In this case, a washer is used with the screw to keep the screw head from pulling through the bone as the screw is tightened. The critical part of the repair is restoring the articular congruency utilizing interfragmentary compression.